Hey y'all, so we've been talking about this snare and this Fowler's trap, this hunter's net, this entanglement and snaring, tie you up, almost like strangling. Um, gonna talk about a lot of that stuff. So um, in Strong's concordance, so looking at the definition of a snare from Strong's, and this was the same as, actually it was the same as Thayer's, not Thayer's, but the the Hebrew lexicon that I use, but it is calamities, plots, or the, the source or agent of calamity. Now that's a snare. A snare is calamities, plots, or the source or agent of calamities. So not only the actual events, the calamities, or the plots, which would be the plans and intentions and also the one, the source or the agent of the plans, plots, and events. So I want you to just think about all those three things in that one word, calamities. The snare of the fowler, his actual event, so what the actual trap, the actual trapping, the actual ensnaring, he will deliver us from those calamities. Ooh, we're going to get into that later on in Psalm 91 too. Um, the plots, that would be not the actual event and the happening, but the plans, <laughs> no weapon that is formed will be successful. So the forming, the plans, plots, and the source or agent. So I, I see that in all stages of the game. In whatever stage this attack or assault may be in, whether it has happened whether the enemy of our souls is planning or plotting an attack, and from the very enemy himself, this says, surely he will deliver you. And so what I love about that is that it covers us regardless of what stage in the game we are. And if, if we haven't seen calamity, there's chances that we're going to see it because we live in a fallen world. But it will not prosper. It will not be successful in the destroying of you. If we abide, oh, if we belong to him, if we allow ourselves to be the children of God, of God, if we will but put ourselves righteous in the blood of Jesus, if we will accept him, if we will be his, then he will be our God. Remember, we've talked about that in Exodus 6. See, this whole thing is that there are two groups of people in the world. As sad as it is, there are two. And those are the children of God and those who have not accepted him as Lord and those who are not the children of God. And while there are two groups of people in the world, there are going to be <laughs> those who, who have this promise of protection and those who don't have the promise of protection. Does that mean that God is bad? No, it means that <laughs> my Joseph is mine and I'm going to see to it that he is guarded and kept. I'm going to see to it because he is mine and I am his. That's the picture of a father and his children. That's the picture. Is that God, he's in covenant with us. Those of us who have accepted him, those of us who, um, who belong to him, who have, accepted is really the only word I can use to think of it. Um, and the New Testament talks about that, that we would accept the sacrifice of Jesus. Recognizing that we in ourselves our sinful nature, that we are not perfect, and that we, we um, I, I hate to say walk in iniquity because that sounds really churchy and I don't mean it to sound really churchy, but without God, that's our nature, sin nature, sin conscious. But when we accept the sacrifice of Jesus, he makes us a new creation, a new being altogether. But it's up to us to accept the offer is made. Anyone, whosoever will, but not everyone will. And so there are those who accept the sacrifice of Jesus and those who reject the sacrifice of Jesus. And so accepting Jesus puts us in right standing with God and then allows him to be our God because we are his people. 
when we do not accept the sacrifice of Jesus, not acknowledging that we are in need of a Savior, that we in our fallen state just fall short, when we don't accept Jesus, then we have removed ourselves from a position of right standing with God. And when we are separated from God, He cannot be our God. We cannot be His people. We have chosen to remove ourselves from Him. And if we have removed ourselves from Him, then He cannot be our God. So, snare, calamities, I feel like I get so off topic sometimes, and I'm sorry about that, but I, I really believe that's the word for somebody, is that He has not left you. He, he desires, you know, the word tells us that He wills that none should perish. And so, whosoever will come to Him and accept... Jesus' sacrifice will be saved. Right standing with God means that He can be our God and we can be our people. But we have a choice. We have to accept the sacrifice of Jesus in order to be in right standing with the Father and in order to receive from Him. In order for Him to be our God, we have to choose Him. All right, so we're going to stop here and pick up again tomorrow. I'll see you then, y'all. Bye.